Hi folks, Santosh Shiva here. Welcome to another episode of Run Yogi Diaries. My guest today is someone who is on an extraordinary journey which is beyond comprehension for most of us ordinary folks. It takes extreme courage and uh, a hunger, a kind of a quest to take on a journey of this kind. His name is Somain Devnath and uh, he's been on a bicycle journey of the world for the last 16 years. He rightly told me at the beginning of this conversation, his 16 year old journey cannot be captured in a 30 minute conversation. And I agree with that, but we get to try and get a glimpse. So we talk about what got it started, his experiences in different countries, his encounter with Taliban, that's very fascinating. How he manages to keep fit for this kind of an arduous adventure. And what about food? How does he manage nutrition? And where is he headed next? For more, I will share a link and various links actually to his uh, journey. He's been written about in many publications. Also, his journey is crowdsourced. I request you to support his journey, uh, contribute to the level you can and live vicariously in his adventure. One dollar per mile. And my hope is uh, through this podcast, we can we can uh, generate about $500, which is about 500 miles of his journey. And uh, please do mention while you're making this contribution that you heard about this in Run Yogi Diaries. Let's dig in. So, man, Babu, namaste. Namaste. Welcome to Run Yogi Diaries. Thank you. It's such an f- honor to be talking to you. Um, your story is so fascinating. Thank you. And uh, so thank you for taking the time out and being on this conversation. Um, I'll let you do a quick introduction, although you don't need much introduction, but I'll let do a quick introduction about yourself, personal introduction, and then we'll jump in. Yeah, born and raised in Sundarban, which is 80 kilometers far from Kolkata, and uh, Sundarban is a well-known, it is a mangrove forest and the largest tiger reserve of India. So, wow. raised in a joint family where uncle, aunt, all of accompanied by grandfather, grandmother also alive. So it's uh, almost 14 members in my family, which I raised. 20 years of my life, I lived with them and finished my bachelor in zoology, master in fine arts. Then I thought that why not to start uh, this travel with a cause right. and when I was 14 years old I read in newspaper that one man he was died by HIV AIDS and he was not so far from my village so I how I was introduced to AIDS mm. so when I wanted to know about HIV AIDS nobody taught me so then I thought that I wanted to know about HIV AIDS to teach those school teacher who unable to give me the proper knowledge. It was age of uh, 14. So, okay. yeah, it was 2000 when I got a special training from West Bengal AIDS Prevention and Control Society. And 2000 till 2004, I was doing this work in different, different society, different community. Then, uh, officially, 2000, 2004, 27th of May, I have started this journey. Uh, so thanks for the introduction, first of all. Uh, Sundarbans is a beautiful part of the country. I've never been to Sundarbans in my life. Uh, I'm from south of India, but one day I want to go to Sundarbans. I've read about it. I've read about the tigers there. So it's very nice uh, you're from there. Let's uh, fast forward. You completed your graduation and then you decided to go on this uh, bicycling journey. Who gave you that idea? How did you get that idea? I thought that uh, what is the easiest way I can travel India and world? Mm -hmm. So 
what is the easiest way so i was wondering that if i will choose a bicycle bicycle is the easiest vehicles which can take me to reach to people right second is it is environmental friendly third is it is crossing the finger for global warming and fourth is it is the most cheapest way i can travel Mm. So this four reason behind of this journey, that's why I have started on bicycle. Started journey from Sundarban to uh, first northeast of India. Mm -hmm. And with northeast of India, seven sisters, seven small, small states. Right. While I was traveling, I also traveled Nepal, Tibet, China, Bhutan, Bangladesh, Myanmar, Thailand, Indonesia, Malaysia, Sri Lanka. And after that, I finished the other part of India, which came to all Eastern India to all the way South India, and then South India to West India to all the way North India. So India and neighbor countries, I finished 2004 to 2006 and a half. I see. And how many kilometers were you covering per day when, when, you, when you were doing India? Uh, I was traveling in India almost... Uh, I traveled in India almost uh, 30,000 kilometers. So it was two and a half years I did it. Because uh, every year I travel almost twelve to fifteen thousand kilometers. So, so talk to us a little bit. I want to go a little bit more into like every day. Like how how did you how were you planning your day? Uh, how many kilometers were you? Did you did you did you ride every day or did you take any breaks? Can you can you share with us how how that was for you? Yeah, every day I uh, make a plan uh, that I will travel 60 to 100 kilometers when I'm on long mm. journey. So I plan that way and few times I make a pause, uh, drink water as much as possible and also meet people mm. and also visit different schools, universities and college if it is during my road means uh, if it is on my road so I uh, that is my short of plan and uh, two times I eat during when I'm riding so if I start maybe six or seven o'clock I go uh, 11 or 12 o'clock then make a pause for two and two or three so then three o'clock to seven o'clock so almost six to eight hours uh, sometimes ten hours i cycle in a day wow and uh, i don't go very fast so i keep mm -hmm. it uh, as a um, i keep it as a respective way to see different place to meet different people to know different culture and uh, also one side if i can give if i can give some awareness to schools and institution so that's uh, almost a day plan uh, longest travel i traveled 246 kilometers in kazakhstan second longest travel i did it so in one one second one second before before we leave india we're still in india <laughs> let, let's let before you move to kazakhstan so you traveled two and a half years in India. What about uh, weather? And um, so I have two questions. One is, how did you manage weather? Because if you're traveling to different parts of India itself, there are some places that are hot, some places that are cold, sometimes yeah. rainy. How, how are you managing all that weather issues? I don't, uh, I don't uh, believe in weather and weather okay. is not a factor of me. I traveled okay. 365 days. Okay. So, if I am hot, I drink uh -huh. water, hmm. I respect the heat, and I pause little my travel, which hmm. uh, uh, when the sun is off, I can continue. 
so or i can travel very early morning and very uh, late afternoon when it is too hot uh, or if it is rainy day then maybe if it is uh, too much rain maybe i can pause for a couple of hours that mm. uh, that and winter i don't have any problem i can go below minus 50 so right 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 uh, so weather is not a very factor and uh, uh, it is uh, i'm really very passionate about travel and i mm. like uh, i like to go with the flow and um, i i think uh, always i felt that cli climate friendly uh, and uh, always uh, i think i'm in the right path mm. yeah so Makes i sense. I never felt that I am somehow uh, bothering uh, climate or I am bothering uh, something that it closing my travel. Yeah. And what about uh, uh, fitness? You know, when you are riding so, so much every day, uh, it's a lot of stress on the body. How, how, do you, how, were you, how are you keeping fit those days? I do some yoga and meditation mm. and I'm also mm -hmm. teaching yoga okay. uh, some students and uh, when some schools need and uh, I feel that uh, body is uh, uh, body is uh, uh, very uh, um, spontaneously move how our thought process so mm. one one person is working is eight to ten hours in a day they are focused they are use their mind and uh, i am uh, when 10 hours traveling then i also use their mind so it is very mind friendly and always mm. i keep uh, keep very focused to go forward so i i am i'm very curious i'm always curious to go forward and uh, try to understand that um, that uh, 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 how whatever comes uh, mm -hmm. in this uh, uh, in this world. So I think I am very fit in my mind and very okay. stubborn, stubborn very. in the sense of I am a Taurus, and mm -hmm. I know what I am doing. I know what I will do. And that is how it is coming to me. Very nice, very nice. What about food during uh, uh, just India? Again, we are still in India. We've still not left in India. Left India. I, what about food? I eat almost everything, uh, okay. whatever eatable. Mm -hmm. And uh, many places I always uh, visit different families, and always mm -hmm. people are inviting me to their home and. Um, get together party so I uh, I really respect uh, food and uh, I think uh, food is also way of culture and uh, it is uh, it is always teaching me but I don't eat whatever not eatable for me yeah. so I am I told you that I am very Taurus I know what mm -hmm. I am doing I know what I am eating also so it is making me make a sense that I'm not uh, uh, so I'm very health conscious whatever I'm eating it is coming to my mind so I don't have any health problem yeah. okay that's awesome that's really awesome and so so 2000 uh, two and a half years you traveled in India and then you decided to leave India and do make it global right uh, yes, it was uh, two and a half years while I was traveling in India. I was uh, received by 25 chief minister and 26 governor of India. Mm -hmm. And those letters, nice. and also I made almost 200 IPS and IAS officer in India. So I mm. made 100 copies filed to central ministry and I gave seven file to the central ministry hmm. so i was received by prime minister and president of india apj abdul kalam and manmohan singh 
they sent me to external affairs minister Pranam Mukherjee and Pranam Mukherjee hosted a program with information broadcasting, health, tourism and sport and himself, five minister. They gave me 50,000 rupees, five countries visa, five letters, which is still mm. helping me as a uh, recommendations letter. So ministry wow. already changed, minister already changed, but ministry still remain. So that ministry letter is uh, uh, making uh, quite, uh, quite uh, supportive, uh, um, uh, what is called, to represent myself to different embassies. Wow. And, and this is, so, so, okay, great. That is, that is fantastic. So what was your first country that you stepped out? Uh, I told you that uh, with India, I travel neighbor countries. Hmm. Uh, that uh, is uh, Nepal, Tibet, China, Bhutan, mm -hmm. Bangladesh, Myanmar, Thailand, Indonesia, Malaysia, Sri Lanka. Mm -hmm. And officially I stepped out from Pakistan, Afghanistan, Tajikistan, Uzbekistan, Kyrgyzstan, Kazakhstan to Russia. So uh, how many years did you take to complete those countries? Asia, I took uh, three years for mm. uh, 2000, 2007 to 9, I, I, I traveled almost 24 countries in Asia. Okay. And then I came to Europe. So 48 countries, I traveled 2009 to 2012. So when you moved from one country to another, uh, was it also on the bicycle or did you have to uh, take a flight or get into a ship to uh, go from one country to another? Uh, yes, uh, I plan my trip 191 countries, 60 mm. times flight and ship, mm -hmm. which uh, will take me how I can cross the, how, how I can continue land to land border. Mm -hmm. And that 60 times uh, I need to flight and ship and others all are land borders so I can continue from land to land. I see. Fantastic. All right, terrific. So you've done, um, fast forward, we are in 2020, you've done almost uh, 150 countries now, right? Yes, uh, New Zealand by 157 countries. 157, congratulations, amazing. Yeah, thank you. Awesome. Thank you very much. And you have, um, how many more to go? 34, correct? Yes, yes. 34 more to go. Yes. And um, how long are you giving yourself to complete the balance 34? Uh, I'm... I'm waiting for some sponsorships and uh, I'm waiting because of pandemic Wuhan virus. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, I hope uh, within six months it will, everything will be normal mm -hmm. and uh, then I can start my travel. I will travel 34 countries before go to back to India. So. Time is a factor, but when time is changed my plan, then I will stand on my plan to fill the time. Right, absolutely. So I will, I, I will travel 191 countries before go to India. Terrific. And you know, throughout these uh, travel of yours, mm -hmm. uh, I was reading that you you were captured by Taliban once. Oh, yes, it was really hard time. It was uh, hard time. I didn't know about them at all. And I was traveling a piece of land where it has many conflict. Uh, usually my travel taught me that if I'm a guest, how I can complain. Hmm. So, second things is I have no idea that there exists that spot and it was also really hard time to travel from Pakistan, Afghanistan to Tajikistan, all Central Asia. It was minus, minus 40 to 50 degree. So, I was really quite hurry and, uh, and uh, Taliban caught me 146 kilometers towards the Herat from Kabul so and they firstly thought I'm an intelligence of Indian army but mm. I'm not 
so uh, then they were uh, try to kill me but uh, I try to assure them that please don't kill me now you can take me with you if I'm a bad person you can kill me later so somehow they understood and I was blindfolded they took me a long drive where uh, I was four days continuously starved and beaten then I found Ouch. a translator who was translating fluently British English so he uh, was uh, explained uh, all my answers to them so then they understood one sentence which is I have an individual mission I respect my mission I respect all over the world any single individual mission mm -hmm. so maybe I cannot fully contribute any mission but I can somehow to support maybe it is not mine so this is uh, what they assured when uh, nine days I was their cleaner and last 11 days I was their cook. Wow. So then one day they told me, Shaman, we will let you go. But what we'll tell to the rest of the world, I try to explain them that, listen, I think that whole world is my uh, family. So why not some part of experience, although it is a good and bad, it doesn't matter. Couple of day experience with you. So after 24 days, I was again blindfolded. They dropped me 16 kilometers before Herat. Hmm. And then winter was coming soon. So I have to leave that uh, Herat to Kandahar and Kandahar to Sirkhan Bandar to Tajikistan. So, the road was very uh, hard in Central, Amer uh, Central Asia. It was many times bothered me. I have to wait in border for one month to get a visa because in that time people were not very much traveling that far and uh, but always my letter uh, uh, was sent by Indian Embassy to the foreign ministry of that country. So those, um, those visa I received from their foreign ministry and most of them I didn't pay because I, I, I am an ordinary citizen but I was trying to get a diplomatic visa. Okay. So that is the way uh, how I always uh, it was it took me quite time but they they fully assured that these persons will not to come and stay in our country so uh, ultimately at last they gave me the visa so uh, so one by one when I was getting visas then I was assured that how, how I, I was I was totally understood that how I can travel the world and how I can convince the local uh, Indian embassy and the diplomats. So while I was meeting different ambassadors, they were really, really convinced mm -hmm. and they were writing to the foreign ministry for uh, prime minister and president appointment. So that's the way how I also met many prime minister and president during this travel. Wow, terrific, so, terrific. I met total 72 prime minister and 36 president. Wow, wow. Uh, one question I had is throughout, so these 16 years of your travel, um, uh, how about your health? You, I know you said in India, you didn't have any health problems, but last 16 years in all this travel, have you had any challenges in keeping healthy and fit? Uh, fit? Yeah, because this like is quite a lot of... Mm -hmm. I would like to say that I don't have a health insurance, so I don't have health problem. I don't <laughs> think about health because health okay. is not in my mind. Okay. So I, uh, and once it was uh, an accident when I was in Mexico, so almost cyclists, uh, almost 100 cyclists wanted to cycle at evening 
and I uh, really didn't know I was thinking that it is morning so we have to go at night cycling for 9 o'clock to 1 o'clock at night so while we were cycling it was maybe 30 to 35 kilometers per hour and somebody came in front of me and I have to save him that's why I was somehow skate and uh, it was a big uh, right shoulder injury so Ouch. that is the only the things I have the problem uh, but I don't think it is a problem it was my uh, it's uh, like a, we are part of uh, part of the journey and I I appreciate that that I have some little little problem uh, because I don't believe in problem <laughs> Uh, That's good. I believe uh, that if there is problem, that we can delete the problem. Hmm. And I always delete my problem. So uh, it is a little uh, tiny uh, difficulties, and I appreciate it. It is also in my in my journey, and mm -hmm. it is always. Uh, uh, I'm remembering to be a little bit cautious and. Uh, and mm -hmm. take care of myself so another question i have is relate, related to relationships right so you've you've been away from home for 16 years mm -hmm. away from uh, parents your siblings okay. do you okay. do you miss them uh, yes uh, i miss them because they are part of my life uh, they are part of oh i i hear some big bikes behind you yeah <laughs> I believe that they are part of my life and I I miss them but uh, I don't have so called homesick hmm. I am beyond of uh, that kind of contrast of relationship so wherever I go I make friends I feel that is my home mm -hmm. so I uh, so called home is belief uh, where is not only my blood relation where I feel that they are part of my family and my home. So it is a totally, totally uh, uh, different concept. So yeah. I don't know uh, different people, different uh, way to so-called family. And I family, I, I consider family where I feel that familiness, where I yeah. feel that somebody is... Uh, uh, is attached with my mind and that yeah, sentiment. Yeah. I, I, I so call family then. One side my awareness and second side I take every country one handful of soil and back to India because my future plan to build a creative global village hmm. which uh, my a concept which I wanted to do it in later and that's why I take also one handful of soil from every country and I live with different farms, learning different farming stuff, mm. different people are, if they need some help, I try to help them. Different journalists sometimes want some footage on my way. I give them some footage which uh, they need for their work. They cannot fly half of the world. Right. So this is the way uh, I think wherever I can somehow little way can contribute that is my way of duty mm -hmm. and duty word I learned from Swami Vivekananda okay mm. fantastic fantastic so what about the bicycle is, is this uh, the, you know for people who are who are bicyclists uh, they, would, they would love to know about what kind of bicycle do you ride is it a geared one? Uh, is it non-geared? I uh, I am traveling with a gear bicycle, but a gear almost now every bicycle has gear. Yeah. So uh, this is my eighth bicycle. Three got stolen. Uh, okay. Three sent it back to my museum uh, because I have sentiment of them. Uh, <laughs> and one is in Texas, uh, one of my family house. And I received this bicycle from Texas, which I'm traveling with. So, oh, okay. This is this the is, one? 
Mm. Is this it's the one that you got in Woodlands in Houston? The yes. bicycle? Yes. Oh. Yes. And I will change it in Australia because okay. mm, I will continue from Australia to maybe 30 more countries, another bicycle. And somebody already told me that uh, somebody already sponsored me. So, oh, yeah. fantastic. fantastic. Oh, I'm so happy so, uh, you're riding the bicycle from my city. I'm going to tell all my friends who... Sure, uh, sure. Who, that's so, so nice. Very nice. Mm. Very happy to hear that. No, I was really very happy to that mm, Woodlands gave me this yes. bicycle. People yes. were very friendly. And still, I am sometimes sending photographs to Woodland Bicycle Group. Uh, oh, okay. They are Mr. Anil... Uh, Anil Adoni. Uh, I I think so. Mr. Anil, Mr. Ram, they are always yes. in contact, and we have a bicycle group. So I sometimes post some pictures and. Great. Um, you know, as as you correctly said, you know, your one thousand days of life I cannot capture in thirty minutes, but I do. So I want to kind of come to the last part of our conversation. I have a rapid fire round where I ask uh, questions. These are casual questions, but they are from your uh, life. Hopefully, everybody will enjoy uh, your response on this. So, if you're ready, we can get started. Oh, please. Sorry, I, I, I'm I just out of out of uh, charge and I need to come to inside the cafe. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. Please. So that's fine. Yeah, yeah. I think that's fine. So, my rapid fire question first is... What is the favorite non-Indian food dish you have so far loved in your travel so far? Non-Indian uh, food. I love French food. French food? Any particular yeah. dish? There's no particular. Okay, okay. Uh, what are your top three favorite cities so far in your travel? Grill uh, cities or country? Cities. City. Uh, Top three cities I cannot remember because all are so close to my mind. What about countries? Uh, Greenland, Antarctica, and Brazil. All right, all right, beautiful. And what is your favorite relaxation activity when you're not bicycling? I love to think of the people who I meet. Hmm. Nice. What's been your least least favorite country or city? I, I love all the countries which I passed. If okay. I will have a chance, I would love to visit again. Okay, terrific. Is there any particular person who inspires you? Swami Vivekananda. Fantastic, fantastic. One and only persons in my life who can every single minute, every single second can inspire me. Right. Hey, and um, I know uh, the other thing that uh, is important is that, you know, your bicycling is supported by people. And uh, I would re request people who are listening to this, uh, I'm going to share the link in the show notes where you can directly contribute to So Men's Journey. What he's doing is fantastic. He's spreading... Uh, uh, a fantastic message of peace uh, of raising awareness about a deadly disease so he's, de he's definitely doing a, a fantastic uh, service to all of us uh, so I would request um, that we also support this uh, through any ways we can um, so Somenji I don't want to hold back more uh, you are sitting in a cafe you've taken time to talk to me I'm really really touched and moved and uh, honored um, I will let you go for now and hope we can keep in touch. Thank you, Santa Shivaji. It was really nice to talk to you and hope we'll keep in touch. Thank you. Yes.